Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Welcome. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm fine. But fine. very tired because I don't... I don't have the time for a sleep. <laughs> you didn't have time to um to review the, the platform. No. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. We will we will do uh the review. We will uh probably you will have time to do it later. But in this time we will continue with the session four and then you can Catch up. Ahí se puede poner en eh, catch up significa que se puede pues poner al día, right? You al can día. catch up. Catch yeah. up. Catch up. Yeah. And well, what happens to the rest? Do you know? Are they eating, having lunch, maybe? Yes. <laughs> okay. No problem. And do you have any question with the topics? No questions. No question. Okay. No questions. Nice. Well, since you didn't have time to do the um, uh, to work on the platform, let me show you the platform right now. We will talk about the models today. In the meantime, the rest come. There we go. Hi, Vanessa. Good afternoon. Hi, teacher. How are you? Very well, thank you, thank you. Uh, I was thinking that you were not going to connect <laughs> because you're very punctual, but today it's good that you were able to join a little bit late, but at least it's better than never, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> sure. <laughs> better later than never, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> um, good afternoon, Ed Nielsen, how was your weekend? It was great. Really? Okay. Really? And I did ate you... some, how do you say, platillos? Uh, traditional dishes? Uh, yes, traditional dishes. Pusitas. Rich. Very rich. Delicious, delicious. Delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When we're talking about rich, it's when uh, ah, it's, it's like for wealthy. Uh-huh. It's for people uh, that that is the meaning for people who are wealthy. That's another word it's to not say. My case. It's not my case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we wish we were rich, right? Uh, <laughs> so let me see. Wealthy. Wealthy. Esa creo que es la palabra. Let me see. Ahí está. Sorry. Se me iba la H. So that means pudiente, right? Rico or that is wealthy or rich. That's another another way to say. But the, the traditional dish of El Salvador are really delicious. All right? Uh, pupusas maybe. Or yuquita. Pastelitos. I am, I am, ya me dio hambre, guys. <laughs> Actually, that was my that was part of my lunch. Digamos que como mi, mi lunch because it was kind of late. Porque fue bien tarde. I just ate. So lo que acabo de comerme one pupusa. So I have eaten as well some traditional dishes. And welcome. I think this is Lorena, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, my, my friend. It's nice to see you. I didn't see you last uh in last week. I didn't see you on the whole classes. No, no la vi todos los días. 
sí estuve incapacitada. Ah, sí. all right. So you can say you were, I was uh, disabled, así como uh, disabled or uh, with the, um, yep, disabled. I was disabled or I was mm, with a, a medical leave. Así se pone. Medical leave es esto. Medical leave es eh, no, cuando no, usted okay. tiene la incapacidad. Okay. Oh, Eso es. No, no. Thank you. All right, but I hope that you feel much better today. Okay, Gracias. very well. Okay, guys, so let me show you uh, the topics for today. We'll be talking about models. Okay, so vamos Mario, a ver. Want to say hello. Who wants to say hello? Ivania. Oh, Ivania, okay. What happens to her right now? Oh, Ivania is there, all right. Nice to see you, Ivania. <laughs> eating, you're still eating. A la carrera, verdad? Ay, pero... A la carrera, oh. tuvieron que comer. I'm sorry that you didn't have time enough to have lunch, but you can you can finish your meal right now. It's okay. And now, guys, please... Tell me the truth. ¿Quién ha visto parte de la, de la sección 4? Por lo menos los videos. ¿Alguien? No yet. Hace el fin de semana. ¿Cómo? We, teacher me va a decir. We, we are we're resting. Así que haga, haga, agarran vacación. You, you have vacation. So you don't, you don't have time. You have to spend time with your family. So I understand that. Now, the models that we will talk about are to talk about pros, uh, possibilities or probabilities. Um, and those are the most important, may, might, and could. But since you didn't see, uh, you didn't watch the video, son bien cortitos, so we are going to, to play it right now. Ahorita si lo vamos a, a proyectar. Give me a second. Let me know if you can hear. Hi, are you ready to begin? Yes. I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to them. Yes, you can hear. Okay. The following yes, expression. Yes, Remember to yes. play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expression. It is He's very, very his easy. Hair. He's wrinkling his... Okay, there we have the... Um, some of the emotions, feelings, or gestures. Okay, we're talking about, about gestures. What you normally do in certain situations. For example, please tell me, rolling his eyes is cuando usted le hace así como... Right, like... Yeah, you're rolling your eyes, right? Yeah, when, like, como quien dice, oh my God, is this for real? Is this de verdad? Is this for real? And so you're like, okay, that is rolling eyes. Uh, biting your nails. Uh, we always do this when we're ne very nervous, right? Okay. And also, scratching, like, <sighs> scratching his head, all right? So, oh, uh, when you're kind of impatient, maybe, or you are um, a little bored, so you uh, trail, uh, you're twirling your hair or wrinkling your nose. What is that? ¿Cuál sería la última? Ahí está. You can tell me. Now, mm -hmm. ¿con cuál asociamos cada una, guys? So we have biting his nails with the letter D, right? D. Uh-huh. Very good. The other, rolling his eyes. C. Letter C. Uh-huh. Yeah. The letter, the number three, scratching his head. F. The letter F. Uh-huh. And tapping his foot. Hey. Foot. 
y, ¿verdad? Y, y, ajá, y. And uh, twirling his hair, that is the letter Which one? A. A. A, yeah, correct. And finally, uh, wrinkling his nose is this. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, in this case, why do you think these people may, may be, might, or may, or could be doing, ahí tenemos los tres models del día de hoy que vamos a ver, okay? Why do you think these people might be or might feel like this or why uh, are they doing uh, or those gestures hello josue long time no see you hello hello time. teacher hello good welcome good afternoon all right thank guys you. thank you for being uh, connected today guys so look the expression or the feelings como los sentimientos verdad Oh, the gestures that they are doing. Example, ah, he's biting his nail. Why? He might be, might, so we have might, made, or could, okay? So why do you think he's biting his nail? ¿Qué podría pensar usted que cuando alguien está así? When somebody's biting his nails. He's a nervous. Oh, okay, so you can say maybe, Maybe, probably, mm -hmm. okay. Um, he is nervous. That is why you can also use the models, okay? In this case, he could be nervous. He might be nervous. Okay, or oh, he may. Might, he may, all right? May be nervous, okay? So we have here one of the... Um, one of the expressions or the emotions that they might feel. All right, so if somebody's rolling his eyes, what do you think it may happen? For example, looks nervous, right? He's nervous uh, with the letter A when he's biting his nail. Okay, so if the person is rolling his eyes, what do you think it might be? What is the possibility? Maybe he, he might. Mm -hmm. um, be irritated? He might be, podría estar, right? Puede. He might be irritated, all right? Irritated. Or um, or some or also he could be impatient or irritated. All right. And if this is a if the, um, if you are like scratching your head, what do you think that could be? Maybe he may confuse. Uh -huh. He may be. Puede estar confundido, right? He might be confused okay uh he might feel confused he might um okay he might feel confused he might get confused yeah as well get be or feel you can say all right and if a person is also scratching his foot his head sorry he, uh, tapping his foot foot all right it's also an um, impatient, right? Probably he's impatient. He is also bored. Or he might be bored. Ahí tenemos cómo ocupar los modals, ¿verdad? Eso es básicamente lo de la clase de ese día. So let me just clear everything and continue. Okay. Thank you, thank you, that Glenda is working. Mm -hmm. Excellent, guys, don't worry. Then we can wait for her until she gets available. Snooze. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed, bored, confused, frustrated, 
impatient. So those are the gestures that people have, okay? Um, next part, those are like body languages and then we're going to talk about the, the adverbs or, let's see. Hi, welcome back. Listen to- Look at this conversation. The following Listen. conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Okay. So make sure to verify well how how to use the adverbs and the models okay remember you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate after the conversation you will listen to the explanation have you met raj part a listen and practice have you met raj the student from india no i haven't well he seems really nice but there's one thing i noticed he moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. That's what it means. Okay, give me one moment. noticed okay guys how many how many expressions or with the models can you see here vamos a ver un model Um, maybe it means he doesn't understand you. I don't think so. Could mean, it could mean, podría significar, right? Um, en lugar de could, puedo poner would, puedo poner can, puedo poner también. ¿Cuáles otros vimos? Lo que significa casi lo mismo, all right? Could, can, may. Might are similar, uh, like synonyms. Mm -hmm. Now, ahí vamos con los, con los adverbs and talking about models. Okay, tenemos might, may, could. ¿Cuál es el otro? En lugar de could, podría decir can, right? También, okay. Eh, those expresses possibilities, probabilities, ok, cualquier cosa que pueda, ustedes piense que es una probabilidad o una possibility, you can say may, might, could, there is another one, hay otro que es el must, y ese cuando usted está como asumiendo algo, normalmente, normally when we talk about must, it's because we have, we're talking about obligations, remember? But also when we are doing, uh, when we are assuming something, cuando usted está asumiendo, to assume. For example, hmm, um, Glenda must be working more or more, Glenda must be uh, very busy. That is why she's not in the class. Yeah. Eso es lo que quería mencionarles. Then, guys, you can watch the video because they are very, very short. Si se fijan, son nada más de un minutito. Super short. Y ahí está. Nice. We use the base form Aparte of the de verb. Decir, uh, besides talking about models, might, might, could, or must. Okay. Puede decir can. También. Yeah. Can, could, might, mate, must. In that case, we can talk about the adverbs, maybe, or perhaps they are the same. Possibility or probability. Oh, possibly, uh, probably, or it definitely means. Ahí está como cuando usted está 
asumiendo algo. ¿eh? Tiene bastante certeza de lo que está pasando. Entonces, por eso se ocupa must to talk about a, a strong possibility. ¿Ok? That's it. Veamos un knowledge check, guys. Instructions. Can you read them? Okay. Look at the image and think that do these gestures mean? Use mm -hmm. the right one for each picture. Thank you. Look at the images. Images. Okay. One image. Images in plural. Okay. All right. So for number one. For number one, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Sorry. And, uh -huh. so what do you bad. think these people might be thinking? It's that sounds bad. Number three. That sounds, that sounds crazy, sounds right? Crazy. Okay, that sounds crazy. Thank you. What about the second one? The second image? Come here. Okay, very good. Come here. So, the number three. Be quiet. Be quiet. And the number four. Peace. Peace, right? Peace, peace, peace. And the number five would be knock on wood. Toco madera, dice uno. I knock on wood when we are trying to avoid or prevent something. Usted está como que tratando de evitar o prevenir algo. Dice, mm -hmm. I knock on wood, okay? Knock, como tocar la puerta, knock on wood. Eh, or in this case, you're crossing your fingers, cruzar los dedos. You cross your finger for for something not to happen, para prevenir que algo pase. Okay, and then and the number six. Sorry. <clears throat> I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Vaya, guys. Hoy sí, quiero que ustedes me den ejemplos de cuándo ocupar estos modos, ¿ok? Models expressions. Ahora, ¿cuáles eran para probabilities, we say? ¿Cuáles eran los que vimos de probabilidades? Probabilities. May, may, cool, could, can, can, meet, meet, yes. might, teacher, might. might, might. Y no me faltó otra. Must. Must, es, creo que ya me lo dijo. Must, might, may, could, y el can, ¿verdad? Fueron como cinco. Bye. Ya tenemos cinco solo hablar de expresiones de probabilities, right? Talking about probabilities. Now, to express permission, hay varios. Y déjenme mostrar lo que se me borró. El, el, el. Mm. I got lost. Bye. I lost my Okay, let's talk about that. So, possibilities or probability We have may, we have might, we have must, when we are talking about assumption, when we are about talking about something that you are uh, certain that is happening, and we have also can, 
could. Y el otro que me faltó. Esos eran todos, ¿verdad? Vaya. Now, if you can see, we have models to express permission, obligations, and prohibition. Okay? For example, for expressions, para the permission, ¿cuáles podrían ser? Se pueden repetir, okay? Okay, todo depende del contexto, right? Everything depends on the context. So you can tell me, if you're talking about permission, we can talk about also may, may I help you? Oh, yes, uh, guy, uh, can I, uh, can I go to the bathroom? It's permission. Yes, you can. Yes, you may. Could I go? That express also uh, ability. Pero vamos entonces con mate. Can. Permission. Okay. For obligation, tenemos have to. ¿Cuál era el otro that I just mentioned? Miss and sure. Good. Uh, yeah, but for obligation, we have must, must. as well. Must, okay, have, uh, now prohibition. Sería entonces don't have to. Don't, si fuera tercera persona sería. Must not. Oh no, okay guys, prohibition sería entonces you must not, okay. Porque el don't have to no, 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 no está hablando de prohibición, ¿ok? El don't have to es otra cosa completamente diferente. Por ejemplo, last, uh, when we were talking about have to, eso sí es una obligación. Para un prohibición puedo decir must, not. Uh, But, ah, cuando hablo de que don't have to, es como que no es necesario que usted lo haga, ¿ok? You don't have to, you don't have to work on Saturdays, o sea, que no es obligación. You don't have, you don't have to work on Saturdays. Si yo le digo, ah, you don't have to... You don't have to do the homework, vaya, no, no, este, este... Ejercicio, por ejemplo, yo le puedo decir, you don't have to do it. Si no quieren, no lo hagan. You don't have to do it. That means that there is not any prohibition. O es como, o no es obligatorio, sino que es más que todo. Como un... Don't have to. Si, que no es obligatorio, que usted lo puede hacer. You can do it or you don't have to do it. It's not an obligation. ¿Sí? I I'm thinking, estoy pensando, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You don't have to. It's optional. Podría decir que es una opción, ¿verdad? Hey, you don't have to. Si usted no quiere, no lo hace. No es un, ninguna obligación. Okay, that means that is optional. All right. Now. Um, tenemos también el should, que eso es como para hablar de suggestions, suggestions or recommendations, okay? For suggestions or recommendations. En ese caso ocupamos el que me dijo Vanessa, creo que ella me lo mencionó. 
el should y el ought to. Ya son un montón. Right? Ya tenemos varios. Ya. Yeah. Pero si se fijan, pues no hay pues la gran cosa de, de que, mire, todo que es probabilidades ya lo vimos, lo ven en el video también. You can watch the video and then you you have a better idea of how to use them. For permission, we have may, can, and the other obligation, have to or must. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia entre ellos dos, guys? Hay dos. Primero, si se fijan, el have to. ¿Qué pasa con esto? Ok, ahí está. El have to significa que si es obligación, si está en una afirmación, you have to, es como también una necesidad. Ok. For example, guys, you have to eat. You have to study. You have to work. Necesitamos trabajar al mismo tiempo, es una obligación. Ok. Um, mm, So, necessities. Para hablar de necesidades, we can say have to. I have to eat. Tengo que comer. I have to drink this pill. Tengo que tomarme esto. Uh, these, estas pastillas. ¿Ok? No es tan una obligación más una necesidad. Eso es un have to. Pero si ya uso el must, si alguien le dice it's a must, significa que it's an obligation. Ahí sí. Ejemplo. Guys. You must do the homework. O sea, ahí le digo, tienen que hacer esta tarea. Or you have to do the homework. Puede ser must, entonces más legal. Ok, como más a lo legal. Hey, you must pay the rent. Hay que pagar la renta. Right? Uh, ¿Qué pasa si no el uh, CIFCO, creo que se llama, o, o Ministerio de Hacienda, they give you a fine. Se, se lo, los multa si uno no declara renta. Right? Por lo menos para las, no las natural people, no personas naturales, but if you're talking about the eh, um, companies, they must pay the, the taxes, all right? The mm, 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 prohibition ya sería must not, pero si es don't have to, eso es como que una opción, una opción, ¿verdad? No hay ninguna obligación para ello. ¿Hay alguno que ustedes hayan visto que nos falte, guys? No. Vaya, le pongo el videito entonces. I'll play this video. To talk about permission. Vamos a ver. Hi, let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to drink and drive? This time we'll talk about permission, prohibition, and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Oh. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. Okay. Entonces, are or be allowed sería otra que se nos había olvidado incluir aquí. So, pero ese ya no es un, un, un modal, pero es una forma de expresar, por ejemplo, permission, be allowed. Okay be allowed example are you allowed to eat in your job are you allowed to drink coffee are you allowed to be late or you're not allowed entonces si uno es pro permission que es be allowed la prohibition sería cannot right o can't y también tenemos not to be allowed. Let's listen to the rest. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. 
He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. They are not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Don't forget to write your exam. Finally, we have In the discussion box. Nadie ocupa el discussion box, B. Nadie. Ok, guys. Eso es pues para que ustedes se puedan estar interactuando eh, aquí. All right? But nadie casi lo usa, guys. Y allí es otra forma de practicar entre ustedes. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuál me faltó incluir aquí, guys? Have got to. Have, must, también. O have got to. Lo mismo, es lo mismo. Have got, lo usan más en, Britan en, en Inglaterra, por ejemplo. O sea, en inglés británico. Have got to, es lo mismo have to. ¿Ok? Um, I've got to eat. I have got to eat. I have to eat, es lo mismo. Ok, ahora quiero ejemplos. I need examples. I'll give you my examples y ustedes me dan los ejemplos tuyos. Por favor, todos, 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 todos. Ok, possibilities. I may be late for the class because I have to go to San Salvador today. Y es cierto, pero hoy no me fui. Ahora me voy después de la clase. Ok, then, podría ser I might be late for the class, eh, or I might go to San Salvador later. I might, um, I could, probabilidad también, I could come back um, at night. Puedo poner también esta, estas expresiones, miren. Um, there might be, podría haber, there might be a lot of traffic in San Salvador, as usual. Debe, 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 debe haber, ¿verdad? Eso es una asunción o una posibilidad. There might be a lot of traffic. There might be... Um, there must be, también podría decir, there might be, there may be, there must be, there could be. There must um, be... Many cars. Vaya, hoy sí quiero que ustedes me den un ejemplo. Ejemplo. Cuando todos van al pollo campero, ¿verdad? Who loves to go to pollo campero? Campero chicken. Campero chicken, ajá. Vaya, entonces, cuando está bien lleno, usted dice, ah, o usted asume cuando acaban de pagar the 15th of every month or the 30th of every month, there are many, many people in, in the restaurants or in the malls. So, ah, uh, usted ya sabe, ah, como es 15, hoy oh, sí debe estar lleno el banco. The back must be, eh? ahí, um, might be very full, very crowded, okay? Packed. Eh, es esta, esta palabra, guys, packed. Ates, at, así como que cuando hay un montón de gente, ¿verdad? Um, full of, like, or crowded. Es lo mismo. Crowded. Example. Ah, ya está ahora sí que no, van bien llenos los buses. Usted ya sabe. Ah, 
the, the buses more, must be packed, dice usted. Ah, los buses ahorita te han de ir, pero bien lleno. Ok. Now, what is your example, guys? Ahora quiero que me den uno. Ya les di varios yo. The bank, the bank must be, might be packed or could be packed. Ya les di varios ahorita. Give me examples. Teacher is correct. She could take photos in Centro Histórico. Oh, ella podría. Sí. Yeah. Podría. She could. Sería mejor así. She could be taking photos. Ella podría estar tomando fotos ahorita, right? She could be taking pictures. At Centro or downtown. Downtown. Okay. She could be taking pictures. Ajá, podría estar tomando. Es una, una, así como me dijeron que Gladys no está ahí. Ah, quizás she could be taking pictures in the downtown. No, ¿verdad? She could be very busy in uh, doing the, uh, her job. Nice. Uh, por ejemplo, me puede decir ese que me dio el ejemplo, Jorge. Sería también como cuando usted dice, eh, puede salir, puede, ella puede. She can take pictures. We can take pictures in the downtown. Sí podemos, ¿verdad? También eso puede ser como una per, una, un permiso, ¿ok? We can take pictures. O we, uh, we are, y eso es lo que sí quiero, guys, que ocupemos bastante, el be allowed, porque ocupamos el verbo to be y a veces no sabemos cómo emplearlo. Uh, we are allowed, or we are permitted, también se puede decir. Allowed, permitted, está permitido, ok, o no se nos está permitido, ok. Uh, we are allowed, we are permitted, we are, ¿cuál era otro, 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 otra expresión, guys? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Permitted, allowed. Let también se puede decir. Pero se dice, eh, let también es permitir. Ok. Um, I will let you talk. I will let you give my, uh, give me the examples. Le voy a dar, le voy a permitir que ustedes me den su ejemplo. So, let. Esa es otro, otra expresión de permitir. We are allowed to take pictures. Y lo contrario sería entonces la prohibición. Ajá, aquí está, ¿ven? Solo lo hacemos en negativo. We are not allowed. Ajá. Thank you, Jorge. Eso fue como más con, de, de permiso, ¿verdad? Ahora, para probabilities, everybody, you guys, everybody. I could, I could win the lottery. Ah, probability, ¿verdad? Voy a comprar uh, the lottery. I will buy lottery. I could win the lottery, right? I could, I could win some money. Ajá, uh -huh. nice. I like it. That's a probability or possibility. I could win the lottery. What else? Teacher, uh, yes. my neighbor can bait his puppy. My neighbor can? Can. ¿Cómo se dice bañar? Oh, bait. Ajá, uh -huh, bait his puppy. 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 Es puppy. Puppy. Vaya, mm -hmm. poppy es así, como hush poppy, vea. Mm -hmm. Bo... Pi. Así creo que es. Mm -hmm. Si fuera yes, más, así. pues le quitamos, sí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Así. Yes. Poppies en plural, ¿ok? My neighbor can bathe his poppies or his poppy in the yard. 
en el patio. Ok. Nice. Another. Podría ser una uh, como full I take a break. Uh -huh. One more time. Could I take a break? Could I take a break, teacher? Could I take a break, boss? Sí, claro que sí. Eso, lo, eso es en pregunta, ¿verdad? Could I take a break, please? Podría tomarme un descansito. Uh -huh. Can I? Could I? Uh -huh. Yes. I must get my circulation permit in February. In February? In February. Ah. Um, no. En ese caso, sí, claro, pero ese ya es, ya es más obligatorio, ¿verdad? Por fuerza hay que cambiarlo, right? You need to change, you need to update or renew your circulation permission, right? Yep. En ese caso ya no sería una probabilidad, sino que sino más. Que es una obligación. Una sí, obligación. Tengo que hacerlo. Uh -huh. Tengo que hacerlo. Entonces puede decir, I have to, ¿sí? O I must. ¿Ok? Cualquiera de esos. Entonces puede decir, me too, I must renew my circulation permission. O my circulation card, la tarjeta de circulación, podría decir. My circulation permit. Mm -hmm. Or I have to. Yes. Thank you, Jorge. And the rest? Gracias. Ahí estoy esperando que los demás me, me digan, ¿verdad? Come on, guys. Esos creo que son de los topics más facilitos. ¿Ok? Super, Karen super. Wilson could dye his hair so that the Ray Una possibility. Show. <laughs> okay. One more time. Can you, can you, <laughs> mire que malía, Ivania. Ajá. <laughs> One more time. Dye his hair. Se quiere que se podría pintar el pelo, dice. Ajá. Ajá. Pongámosle he, ¿verdad? O she o he might. Die. <laughs> Put my name, teacher. It doesn't matter. I have two. How do you say canas? Ah, too many gray hair. Gray hair. Me I too. Have almost um, eight. You, uh, you're, you're almost what? Eight or ten. How do you say canas? Gray hair. Ay, no moleste. Con cocho canitas se quieren pintar el pelo ya. Look at. <laughs> Look. I, I actually dyed my hair like around two weeks ago. Sí, ya hace como dos semanas también. Why? Because I have many gray hairs. Okay? A lot. A lot. En este caso. Uh, the Nilsson might dye his hair. ¿Por qué? Especialmente uh, to cover the gray hair. Sí, para cubrir las canas, ¿verdad? Oh, it happened to my father. He always did it. Siempre lo hacía. He actually must, uh, he actually dyed her, uh, his mustache hasta el bigotito. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, good example, guys. Die is with. Uh, Con la ye, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sorry, die. Así, ¿verdad? I could Teñírselo. eat torrejas on vacation. On, on vacation. vacations. Okay, one more time. I could eat torrejas on uh, okay. vacation. Excellent. I could eat torrejas for on vacations, right? On Holy Week, La Semana Santa. Okay, they are delicious. They are delicious. Um, 
look, el, este could, la L no la pronuncio. Si digo cool, sueno más a este. Cool, cool, chivo, ¿verdad? Todo, todo cool. Uh, así que la pronunciación es could. Everybody, no, no pronunciamos la L, ¿ok? Yo soy could. Could. Could, all right? Could. could. Okay, I could eat torrejas for vacations or on vacations, okay? I could eat... ¿Qué más, guys? Torrejas. Ahí sí no les puedo decir, guys, cómo se dice torrejas en inglés, porque esos son, son platitos nacionales, ¿verdad? Entonces, no hay una forma para hacer una traducción. O pupusas, no se puede decir. Aunque los gringos dicen pupusas, pupusas. Maybe torrejas. 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 Vamos con permission, Bob. Ayúdenme con unas de permission. El May y el Ken, si se fijan, es súper fácil. Cuando estamos hablando de models, es bien fácil. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando estamos hablando de una forma positiva, simplemente we talk about a subject, Siempre ponemos un sujeto eh, más el modal. Y si se fijan, ¿en qué forma ponemos, nuestro, ponemos el verbo? Miren aquí. Be, come back, be, be. Bueno, demasiado usamos el be ahí. Aquí está. De, I can take, I could take the break at any time. Yo podría tomarme mi break a cualquier hora. ¿Ok? I could win, podría ganar, win, bañar, bathe, die, teñir, eat, torrejas, aunque estoy hablando de tercera persona, no importa. ¿En qué forma vemos el verbo, guys? No lo cambio, una forma infinitiva, ¿ok? O de la forma base, base form. Y luego un complement. Si lo hago en negativo, es exactamente lo mismo. En negativo sería, sí. Negative, aquí... Vaya, en negativo sería, ¿a dónde va a ir el not? Where? Ayúdame, Gustavo, ayúdame con una. Gustavo siempre bien calladito, así que no sé si tiene pena. He might be uh, confused. He could be thinking. Uh, he probably is um, very quiet or he is shy. Tal vez puede ser que, que vea, que sea tímido. ¿O why? Tell me an example. Usemos uno en negativo, guys. ¿A dónde pondríamos el not? I don't. I could. I could. I could. Ajá. Uh -huh. Not. I could not. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it's a calle. Yo no podría comer la pacaya. Ok. I hate pacayas. Well, I don't know why people like this, this food. Eso sí. ¿A quién le gusta, guys? Who likes I, uh, Samuel, pacaya? I love its pacaya. Really? Samuel yes. loves pacaya? Yeah. Oh, really? With cheese. Con quesito. <laughs> ok. 
Entonces sería, I could not, y una probabilidad negativa, ¿verdad? Para nada, no, yo no podría comer la pacaya, I could not. Entonces ahí estamos, vamos a hacerlo en negativo. Aquí. I could not eat papaya, pacaya, pacaya, right? No papaya, pacaya. Pacaya, right? Así. Pacaya. Ok. Another in negative. It cannot be serious. No puede ser de, en serio. ¿verdad? It cannot be for real. No puede ser cierto. For real. También podríamos decir. It cannot be for real. It cannot be serious. Ok. Es, no podría ser real. Vamos, more negative, negatives. Josué, ayúdeme con one negative sentence. Entonces, si lo hago negativo, sería I might not be late for the class. I could not come back at night. There might not be, y siempre, después de la auxilia del modal, le vamos a poner la palabra not. ¿Ok? There must not be many cars today. Hoy podría ser que no haya muchos carros. Ah, que me das que galán fuera. ¿Ok? The bank could not be packed. Hoy no le podría estar tan lleno, right? ¿Ok? Y así sucesivamente. Come on, guys. Give me examples for negative. I could, she could not be, ahí está, una, una suposición, una probabilidad, pero en negativo, ¿ok? Ahora bien, si lo hacemos en pregunta, veamos el ejemplo que nos dieron aquí. Curay, ¿cuál es la estructura para, los, para las preguntas, guys? For questions. Mother. Eh, primero sería un modal, ¿verdad? Very good. Modal plus subject. Después el sujeto. Very good. Plus subject. Plus verb. Plus the verb. El verbo nunca lo cambio, ¿ok? No, aunque fuera pasado, siempre lo dejo en forma base. And then the complement. Vamos a ver. ¿Se, co se, se comprueba esto? Could I take a break, please? Yeah, así sería la forma. All right, vamos. Josué, what is your example? Negative or questions? Puedes hacerlo en pregunta. Entonces, ¿cómo, es, cómo me harían estas en preguntas, guys? Okay. Teacher, I have an example. Tell me. Um, may I treat my SpongeBob to me? <laughs> That's the, okay. May I, may I eat? Me dijo eat? eat, eat. Ah, may I eat a SpongeBob cookie? Es una, es una galletita. Gummy. Ah, gummy. Okay. Hey, where did you buy it? It's, it's nice. It's a gift. Oh, it's, it, it's, it looks really, really uh, cute. Se ve bien bonito. All right. Um, voy a asumir lo que, lo voy a asumir que podría pasar con Vanessa. Oh, she could uh, have received it uh, from a special person. Pudo haberla recibido de alguna persona especial. ¿Vea? Maybe. Es, ajá, maybe, ok. Acordémonos, guys. Porfa, démosle un, una vista a los videos. Porque, bueno, ese de gestures ya lo vimos. Pero eh, este, por ejemplo, también. ¿Qué pasó aquí? Este creo que no lo terminamos de ver, ¿verdad? Eso se los dejo de tarea para que ustedes lo vean. Porque aparte de, de may, might, could... Están las expresiones, ¿verdad? Que decimos, Ready? Let's talk maybe, about models maybe, and others. perhaps, possibly, probably. Sí, escucharon, we're sure about, Or we may use adverbs such as maybe. Maybe, perhaps, possibly, or probably. ¿Ok? Eh, 
porfa vean esos videos y denme ejemplos porque mañana vamos a seguir preguntando eh, los modas, ok, así que varios ejemplos, ahorita casi que Vanessa ha gustado porque yo le pregunté, José me quedó pendiente, así que por favor, mañana sí tengan un par de ejemplos para eh, para practicar see you tomorrow guys, ok, take care a lot see you teacher see you tomorrow, bye bye guys sí.